to the young people, okay? Hold your head up high. We are Filipino people that started the people power 30, 30 years ago before even uh, the Arab Spring started. So, you know, know the facts and be one with the president. Go to our website, USPGG. Dot org, USP Noise for Good Governance, USPGG.org, and learn the issues. And once you learn it, spread it to your, to your group, okay, with uh, Facebook, with other social media like Twitter, and blogging, YouTube. and YouTube. Yeah. Okay, so send it out, spread it out, sing to the nations, uh, and through your cell phone, and uh, texting. Okay, so all of that will be available by letting the, your own peer group know we are a rich nation, President Noy Noy, start talking, not fighting. And for those of people of faith, pray and fast, at least for 24 hours. Salamat po. Very good. And uh, also, in connection with uh, what she just said, is the fact that uh, at vspan.asia, that's www.vspan.asia, all of these things will be synchronized. How's that? Yes, very beautiful. Oh, salamat po. I know that you have this uh, very, very advanced way mm -hmm. of uh, that the people can stream into okay. your your uh, media. Hi. Thank you. This is Gil Santos, and we have a special guest for today, um, Miss Mrs. Lloyd Lewis, uh, Mrs. Lloyd and Nicholas Lewis of uh, New York. She is a dual citizen basically a Filipina, and uh, like she said earlier, you can take her out of the Philippines, but you cannot take the Philippines out of, his, of her heart. You know? And we're going to discuss the uh, China-Philippine uh, relations at this point in time. Is it a conflict, or is it a future uh, for cooperation in the Philippine-Chinese relationship? This comes into the forelight, forefront because of the current situation in the South China Sea. As we all know, China has been extending its claims on the Spratlys and it claims that part of Palawan in part of the Philippines is actually theirs. And in fact, they have technically invaded already part of the Philippine territory in the Scarborough Shoal, which is just off Pangasinan of Sambales, you see, in Northern Luzon. So, let me ask you now, uh, Loida, <coughs> you have a very outstanding effort and excellent uh, working agreement now with uh, non-governmental organizations, uh, religious groups, and you're going to have this prayer meeting and, and consolidation of a unity in prayer tomorrow. Uh, how are you going to further strengthen your networking with all the Filipinos who are, and, and, and I stress this because not everybody in the Philippines is aware of these Chinese-Philippine relations and the tension that it, it brings about at this point in time. See, we have, we have a group of, uh, of people who are not really united in a way who are less aware of world situation and regional development. So how are you going to get this done? Meaning to strengthen your network so that the awareness, the information level becomes higher. How do you do that? Yes. Well, as chairman of the USP Noise for Good Governance, we have been talking about this issue since last year. So this year, we again um, had a rally in front of the China Embassy and consulates, not only in the United States or Canada, but all over the world. Mm -hmm. So we have, to that extent, uh, internationalized the issue. As far as the Philippines is concerned, that's why we call the press conference, and thank you very much, Gil, for being here, and uh, PC for uh, having, having gotten uh, us, for, for being present here. We call on the media mm -hmm. to uh, not only deal with you know, actors and actresses, but to highlight this issue in all of their newspapers, uh, in their channels, television, on radio, they have to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Because this involves the, ourselves, of course, our children and future generations. They do not seem to understand that within these waters that China wants, mm -hmm. 
lie billions of barrels of oil, black gold, natural gas that cost trillions of dollars. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so if mm -hmm. these are properly exploited and distributed and shared, because you know, although we own it, you know, mm -hmm. it, we, we, we can give for those undisputed area a 64th sharing, we will be number one country in the world. There will be no poverty. Mm -hmm. will, can you imagine trillions yes. dollars yes. Of, of money will flow into our coffers? And so how do I uh, plan to elevate this to so that more people in the Philippines will know <coughs> about it? Well, there was a suggestion mm -hmm. from Bishop Chito uh, Sanchez. Yes to form a coalition, mm -hmm. a coalition of like-minded individuals in civil society. The, I'm very glad to say that the evangelical church is with us. Okay? Among the Catholic church, limited bishops have indicated their mm -hmm. support, but uh, the running priest, mm -hmm. uh, Father Reyes. Robert Reyes, yeah. had also is with us, and in fact, you know, to make it strong, we are, he is recommending not only a day of prayer on August mm -hmm. 21, which is tomorrow, but also prayer and fasting. Mm -hmm. So starting yes. after 6 o'clock tomorrow, yeah. I'll do a 24-hour fast. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so all of these things will be able to elevate and mm -hmm. bring this issue to great no greater number of people in the Philippines. Let me ask you something specific. Are you willing to uh, appear before student groups before non-governmental uh, uh, associations and foundations to be able to explain this, you know, because you are coming from both worlds, you know, you're coming from the U.S., you're you being a dual citizen, you know, and at the same time, you're a Filipina. So I do understand your feelings and how you want this, you know, fervently to be known by people. Are you willing to support or appear before student bodies, uh, regular conventions, regular conferences, group, focused group discussions yes, and forum for this? Thank yeah. you for asking the question. I am very willing, mm -hmm. except that although, uh, you know, I am a <coughs> Filipino, I am also American, and right now there is an election mm -hmm. in the United States and I am very committed to campaign for President Barack Obama's re-election. Mm -hmm. So probably after November 9, November mm -hmm. 6, mm -hmm. okay, I'll, be, uh, I, I'll be more available to talk to student groups and non-governmental entities yeah. to discuss this uh, very, very crucial issue of uh, China being a big bully rather than a big brother to the Philippines. Hey, that's very timely because in November, that same week, there's going to be the ASEAN summit meeting in Phnom Penh. You see, so it will be really very, very, very propitious because the timing is going to be excellent. I will get in touch with you and, and uh, let's work out a program where we can help you in getting all this uh, information spread out. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very you. much. Thank Diana. you very yeah. much. Yes, okay. thank you. Up on uh, Neil H.A. Santos' uh, question for whether you'd like to appear before a student uh, and any other private or government uh, uh, offices, uh, what is it exactly that you want to convey as a message to the young people of the Philippines, not only students but all Filipino uh, young people? I would like to convey that, first of all, that we are blessed with so much natural resources, uh, with natural gas, with black gold, which is oil, so we are not a poor country. The only question is that it's not been taken out and explored and exploited. So for the young people, I want them to be aware and so hold their head up high because we are a rich nation. Secondly, I want them to be aware that the way to get this is not through war, but through diplomacy, backroom channels, and through <coughs> talking so that they should not be uh, giving an ear to those who are, uh, you know, going to egg the President Noy Noy. O sige, laban tayo. Laban tayo, we are 100 million, they are 1 billion. You know, so, isang putok ng missile to our uh, 120,000 army, 
whereas they have 100 million army. Eh, talong-talo tayo.